All right, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the ranch. We've been fishing a ton lately, and I've been getting ranchalitis. Symptoms are need to get out here and uh, put on some bug spray. Let's go check the ranch out. We've uh, been having a great summer, but we're coming close to fall, and it's just, it, it's like, I can't explain it. You've got to come to the ranch. Got to have a gun. All right, you guys, so typically I'm a huge believer in the moon. Wild game has feeding behaviors and they like to feed. Your, your primary major feeding periods are when the moon is overhead and underfoot. Your minor feeding periods are when your moon are on the horizons. I, I believe that with all my heart. So right now we have a really good moon. It's full, close to full, but it's setting. The sun's coming up. We're gonna ease back to a place I call Jurassic Park. If you're getting ready to hunt this year, buy a Thermosel. They ain't a sponsor. And I've warned this one about slap out, but these things will work. They will keep mosquitoes away from you. Got a few hogs in the feeder right now. Not real interested in shooting a hog. I'm just here for a reconnaissance mission, see what's going on. Well, this morning we saw a few hogs. It was good, more or less a, a reconnaissance mission this morning. I didn't want to kill a hog. I just wanted to see what was going on. That little spot typically has several deer in it. And we didn't see any deer. But uh, got a lot of work to do on the ranch today, and I'm just going to show you what we're doing. This is my Ford 5000. All right, so this is what we call Mama's food plot, and we got a big double box blind. Great spot. Let's make it look nice. Looks a lot better than it did. I wish I'd have brought my earmuffs. It's loud. All right, y'all. So the first step is all done. We rototilled the whole entire food plot. All the vegetation that we grind up into the ground becomes fertilizer. It just becomes biomass, and and the the seed that we plant feeds off of it. These are called iron and clay peas. They grow real well down here. You don't need this much seed for an acre and a half, but I know this is my first food plot that I'm planting. As soon as it starts sprouting, the deer, the hogs, the turkeys, dove, quail, everything's gonna be hammered on it. So let me get, let me get this spreading.
step two is done. What I do is I make my first set of pass so that I feel like I've got seed everywhere. And then as long as I've got extra seed in the hopper, I just start going over areas that I think look good. It's very scientific. All right, now step three. Once you get your seed bed ready, rototill it, then you broadcast your seed, then you've got to drag it. You, you only want a little bit of dirt covering your seed. Very little. Off we go. Now, we pray for just a little bit of rain. We don't want it to get flooded. We just want a little bit of rain. If you sow the seed, you reap the harvest. Lord willing, this will all be a beautiful food plot here shortly. Deer, turkeys, hogs, everything will use it. You know, we do a lot more than just hunt. This is about land management and taking care of the wildlife. So, hope you guys enjoy it. We got a lot more to do today. All right, y'all, we got done with the food plot over there, which I'm really happy about that. And then at the Lakeland Big Buck Expo a couple weeks ago, there was this company, it's called the Mineral Miser Bag. I think I'm saying it right. And it's got all different flavors, minerals in here. And what it's supposed to do is when it gets wet like this, this gets wet, you know, the rain rains on it. And then it comes down and it creates like a little tasty syrup on here and the deer come by and they can lick it and then it drips into the ground down there and it makes like a nice mineral lick and they swear by it now I gotta be honest I told them if they gave me one I'd put it out and I'd see what happens and so for me to y'all I have no affiliation with them they gave me this so I'm putting it out now I'm gonna change the batteries in the uh, in the Spartan game camera over there and We'll be off to hang a tree stand. This right here is the real deal. If you have property that you'd like to hunt, the Spartan is connected uh, through your Verizon phone service and it sends us pictures straight to our phone. Uh, the great thing about it is you don't have to be there. Like, once I set this, I ain't coming back until it needs new batteries. I might come back and fill the feeder, but this is great because you're not coming into the, the area. You're not bringing your scent in here. So I'm going to keep on moving. That's ready to go. If I give you my word, again, I ain't sponsored by Spartan, but that's the best trail camera in the world right there, no doubt. Anytime you come into an area and you want to set a stand, the very first thing you need to think about is A, wind direction, and B, your deer travel direction. So here in South Florida, our primary wind south, southeast. So that means the wind's gonna be coming like this. It might be coming out of east, south, but primarily the wind's going that way. Well, that, that rules out any trees over there because your primary wind would be blowing right to your feeder. Now, I expect the deer to come down this road, that road, or most of the time down this road here. So, I'm gonna set my tree stand back here, hoping that the wind is blowing out across that flag pond. There's a big marsh over there, and hopefully my wind goes that way where we can get in quietly, get into the tree, and have a nice hunt. Now, let me show you how I set a stand. I highly recommend always using new straps. This is a new little harness that I got. Uh, Hunter Safety Systems makes it, and it's just a climbing harness. Then I don't have to be hanging onto the tree all the time. All right, so I went and bought all this today with my own money, no discount from Bass Pro Shops. That is a Millennium tree stand. In my opinion, it's the lightest, most comfortable tree stand and easiest to put up. That will be up against the tree and the tree stand slides in just like that.
I've got shots there, here, here, there, 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 back here, over here. Perfect. All right, y'all. Tree stand's all set. The Spartan has cape batteries in it. We've got that mineral lick. The feeder's full. This spot is perfect. Now let's get out of here. Leave it alone for about three or four weeks. All right, y'all, so quite a big change from the ranch. This is the pool that I learned how to swim in. And so this is where I come with Aria and practice swimming. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, feet first. Good girl. Kick them feet. 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 That's probably the hardest thing with kids is just teaching them to kick their feet. It's great to be able to come here with Aria, love on her, and just have that father-daughter time. Say hey, everybody. Say hi, everybody. And then she also likes to play games. One, two, three. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, you've probably seen enough of me this crazy day. Woke up early, went out to the ranch, saw a couple hogs, tilled up some ground, planted some seed, hung a tree stand. Then I got to finish it off in the pool with my precious daughter, Aria. I love all you guys, and I really appreciate you being a part of our channel and part of our life. This isn't makeup or make-believe. This is just what we do. So I appreciate y'all being a part of it. I love you very much, and I'll see you soon. We're going to be making a lot of videos. We've got great stuff coming up. When my new computer gets delivered on, like, August 17th. And after that, 4K Nation, y'all. New mics, new cameras, new computer, all new editing off software. Deer meat for dinner is going to the next level. But for now, we're gone.